Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I've been meaning to do this episode for quite some time and keep forgetting to do it. And, and what reminds me is when I see a post on social media where someone's complaining about a nasty water in their water supply. And just know that if you live in a newer neighborhood, you're at high risk for that because anytime they add a new home, well, they have to break the water line to add that service to it. And so it's just vulnerable. Uh, for sediment to get into the system that way and they do a, the best they can to keep that from happening but it's just what it is and that's why I recommend uh, that you add one of these primary filters to your home and you probably should do it even if you have an older house because they still have to work on the water supply system occasionally and not only that but if you have a, a filters going to your ice maker or whatever this will increase the longevity of that filter as well because it can uh, take a lot of that prior to it getting to it. Now, I think I paid a little bit less than 80 bucks for this. Now, this is one step up from just a sediment filter. It also will uh, do scale as well. And so if you have a tankless water heater, uh, this is really beneficial for that. And so it helped eliminate some of the scale in the system. Now, this particular filter system here has one inch connectors, and that's what most of them are going to have. And so since your home more than likely has three quarter inch, you probably going to have to go get the adapters to get it down to three quarter and I'm using PVC in this case uh, to do that with but if you have PEX in your home you can get it down to, to PEX as well but when you put this in it's a good idea to put a ball valve in on the other side of this uh, so that way you can service this filter but plus you should have a secondary cutoff valve for safety now uh, you can see the arrow in here so you have to follow the water flow of this when you install this as well and you're probably going to want to wait and do this on a day when no one's home because you may have to have the water off for quite some time, you know, depending on what kind of problems you run into when you go to install this. Uh, but it did come with this bracket here where it can be hung, come with Teflon tape. And so this is the pamphlet for it here. This is like I say, an ice spring. And so what I'm going to do at this point in the video is I'm going to, uh, for those that have this that may have lost their manual, or maybe you might want to see what they say about this. You can freeze frame this and kind of pause it and look and see what it says. Hopefully you'll be able to read it. Now I can't remember if I said this, but this spanner wrench is supposed to go on here to where you can remove this to clean the screen in here. And it also has this little valve here, but you can actually connect a secondary hose to this to where it goes to the outside. You can kind of purge this as well if you see any kind of sediment at the bottom. This is really a, a really good primary filter system for the home. Uh, thanks for watching guys and hope this has been somewhat informative as well.